on station. I've seen a couple of content creators, mostly in the knifing community, say that the longbow is way OP and needs to be nerfed. So I decided to have a look at that because I, I didn't think it was particularly overpowered, but I did notice a lot of people use it in the snipers only lobby. So I checked some statistics. In order to determine whether or not the longbow deserves a nerf, I compared the three similar sniper rifles, similar in some ways, I guess, in Modern Warfare 3. Now, I didn't look at the cat because the cat's aim down sight time gives your enemy enough time to go through the Wendy's drive through order an extra large Frosty, and chow that thing down. So anyway, uh, these are statistics as the weapons come out of the box without any attachments, kind of like Grandpa Newbie in the morning when he gets up in his pajamas. I have to add a few attachments to make me that simmering hunk of ravishing man that I end up after I take my shower and get ready. So the longbow, KV inhibitor, and XRK stalker. Now to start things off, the little numbers below each one of them is the amount of times that particular weapon won in a category. So the longbow won six times, the inhibitor seven, and the stalker six times two. So when you look at handling, there's not a lot of difference in them because once you add the attachments, you can get the aim down sight time very close to or better than what we're looking at there. The out of the box, the longbow wins with a 520 millisecond aim down sight time. But my stalker has a less than 500 millisecond aim down sight time as it's configured. Reload, not really all that important with the longbow because 30 rounds and the default mag. Sprint to fire. That's where the longbow has a significant advantage. So when we look at damage, the inhibitor and stalker take the cake there. Longbow, all three of them, inhibitor and stalker are one-shot kills to the head and to the upper torso. The longbow falls off, though, the lower torso and upper legs, whereas the only one-shot kill to the lower torso is the XRK Stalker. It definitely wins there. And the upper legs deals more damage, the inhibitor and the Stalker, than the longbow, but still they're not one-shot kills. But significantly, when you impact that target with your lead, how will he flinch? And with the longbow, just barely at 0.8 newtons, whereas the inhibitor and stalker win at almost double the punch, the double the flinch than the longbow. The range is where the longbow falls off the map, though, like you said, you can add some attachments. The effective damage is 12.7 meters. The stalker wins with an almost 50 meter effective damage. The minimum damage, very close for the longbow inhibitor, 63 and a half. Surprisingly for the longbow, 61 meters for the KV inhibitor, one shot kills to the head, but 70.9, almost 71 meters for the XRK stalker, it wins there. When you look at fire rate, surprisingly, the inhibitor wins at 130 rounds per minute. I expected the longbow to win that one, but it didn't. So, people who say the longbow pilots run around pulling the trigger like they're, they're holding on to a LMG just aren't right. And rechamber times, you can see that there, KV inhibitor rechamber time is not listed. Mobility, the longbow has a slight advantage there overall, but when you look at the numbers, they're very, very close. As far as movement, the inhibitor is the quickest. Crouch speed, exactly the same for all three. Sprint speed, a little bit faster for the longbow with the XRK stalker coming in only two tenths of a meter per second. What's that, about seven inches per second, less movement across the map than the fastest longbow. 
tack sprint again is almost exactly the same at seven meters per second for the longbow. You can round up the inhibitor and the stopper to seven meters per second because they're both at 6.8. And then flinch resistance, you're gonna jump if you, if you get packed with a piece of lead and you're holding the longbow. The inhibitor is the best of the three with one Newton's worth of flinch resistance. XRK comes in second at 0.85 Newtons, and you better add some attachment that reduces the flinch for the longbow. I actually do that for all three of them, so they all three come out almost the same once attachments are added. So there are the numbers. My final opinion, and just my opinion, I'm not a sniper, never claimed to be. I'm a rookie sniper at best. But I have all four Modern Warfare 3 sniper rifles at the mastery level, meaning I've had a thousand kills with each after getting them to interstellar. And I'd say that the longbow is not particularly overpowered. It fits nicely in the, in the sniper category for Modern Warfare 3. It does some things better handling, but it doesn't pack as big a punch. And when you're carrying it, you're a bit more brittle than you are with the other sniper rifles. So those knifers who claim that they can get hit in their pinky toe and get a, have a one-shot kill from a longbow need to rethink that one. But in any case, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Helps me. Helps the family. Peace.